So I'm at Chick-fil-A y'all today minding my own business and y'all wouldn't believe what happened. This old white guy gets out the car and goes off on me. Talking about he works for the sheriff, he a DEA, FBI and all that. But anywho, y'all watch these videos and let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'm gonna reply to each and every one of y'all uh comments. You said am I you said am I handicapped? Yeah. Because you know it's a hundred dollar fine parking in I'm with the police department. You with the police department? Yeah. And you get out your car to ask me. So go get it, and then I get you a fifty dollar ticket. A fifty dollar ticket, real quick. You gonna you give me? Stay right there. You gonna give me a fifty dollar ticket for what? Parking in a reserves thing. Parking in the reserves. Yeah. You're you, supposed but to but do you know who asked me to park here? Chick Fil A. I, Chick Fil A. Chick, Chick Fil A just told me to pull up here so they can bring my food out. Okay. Okay, well, I'm sorry, then. I'll tell them, but these are for handicapped people. Well, I guess they wanted me to be handicapped temporarily because they told me to well, pull right I here, mean, and they were going to bring my food out. But you're eating here. They just brought it out. Well, I'm making sure it's fresh, and okay, I got everything. You can understand somebody's handicapped. They've got to have a place to park. And these are only two places. I, I understand, there. but Chick-fil-A asked me because they some, somebody was right there. I understand what you're talking about, but you got your food, so. Yeah, because I'm about to pull off. Oh. Let me know, did I respond right? Or let me know how I should have responded or how you would have responded to this situation. You know, try to make it convenient so when they come out, they can give it to you and, and recognize you. Because if they tell you, where are they going to tell you to park? <laughs> right. What, what, I'm trying to be ugly. What kind of weapon you got? No, not no, not your Glock. I mean, show me your off-duty weapon. Uh, huh? Show me your off-duty weapon. Off-duty? That's what I carry all the time. No, what you just showed me? What did I, what did I show you? Yeah, your off-duty. <laughs> this is something that is 39 years old. 39 years old? Yeah. Belonged to my father's. Ouch. Yikes. Well, when you get in a street fight and there's 10 people, you know, two fists aren't going to help you. You can't use that anyway. You, that's when you bring that Glock out. Huh? That's when you bring that Glock well, out. They try back in those days, you, you try not to shoot. I, I try now not to shoot people. I work with the sheriff and the thing on DEA. We you do, do uh, blockades on the interstate going going towards Nashville and stop on the interstate. There's so, a lot of shootings going on on the interstate. Let me tell you something. There's <laughs> a lot of shooting anywhere. You pull up to a squad car, whether you have this or you have your Glock, you just got to be prepared. The good Lord saves you. That's right. it. Go to church every Sunday. That's <laughs> it. You have a nice day, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. That was awkward.